Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines. This is part four of my little let's play of my first city called Awesomeville. And I'm still open to some awesome names that you have for an alternative name for the city. I will pick it arbitrarily. If I like the name I'll use it. So leave some comments and shit. Anyway, right, what are we up to? We're getting 20... Eight citizens per ter, uh, per week. We're making a thousand per week, and we've got two and a half thousand people in the city. That is awesome. Oh, and it's going up. Look at that, plus fifty-five. So what I'm trying to strive for now, mostly, is that seven thousand. Oh, there's a building on fire. Let's see the firefighters go into action. Yeah, what I was going to say is I'm looking. I'm trying to get that seven thousand uh, population uh, milestone. So that we can get access to medium, I mean, high density buildings. The reason I keep saying medium is because I'm, I played a ton of SimCity 4, and it goes up from low density, medium, and then high density. So yeah, there's a bit of crossover. Police offers small storage spaces with secure door, uh, with secure doors for rent. Hashtag yeah for hashtag rent. Call 911 for more information. Lol. Um, right, so what is the plan? We're getting a little bit of demand. We've got 29,000. And we've got 48 people coming in each week now. Um, it'd probably be a good idea to expand the industry. Look at this clog in here we're getting, though. Yeah, well, what I'm going to do is as soon as I've got the ability, which I think I do, now I'm thinking about it, I can buy this portion of land and get a... Yeah, let's do that. Uh, natural resources. It's got oil, not much ore, but lots of forest industry. So we just purchased an extra piece of land. Awesome. So if you missed my plan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this industry area directly to this highway. So that alleviates, look at this traffic, all of these big vehicles and delivery trucks, this tanker no doubt, this tractor, these tractor trailers, um, all these big vehicles clogging up the roads and no doubt coming and going from here. So what we want to do is make it, we want to alleviate the traffic from the downtown area. So yeah, let's make a highway connection because they travel at 100 miles an hour as well it says speed 100 in that little box to the right so if we can get them going that fast down here it would be ideal so let's have a look I bet because this is all forest area yeah this is all forest industry area could paint it all right let's uh Let's close this for a minute and let's figure out how we're going to do this. If we make two... Um, yeah, basically the rule of thumb is, because I always used to find intersections confusing to make uh, in other city builders, but it's really simple. is two lanes off, two lanes... Yeah, two lanes off each one. So you have one lane... Yeah, basically, yeah, two lanes off, two lanes on. I'll show you what I mean. So you can make these really convoluted shapes, but as long as you remember that... You're all, you're all good. So let's make... Oh, and it's all a one-way style of road. So let's see what's going on here. Why is it not blue? There we are. Let's see, it's a one-way there. So what we'll do for this one is we'll bring a road that comes round... Yeah, this is going to be a complicated one. I could bring one that goes across this way and up this way, and then from here... It's probably going to look like a spaghetti junction. So, let's go like that, well, as soon as it goes blue. Right, and then let's start connecting it to the ground, so it's not as expensive. I believe it's more expensive to have it elevated anyway. I don't actually know. I haven't tried it. Right, so that costs five grand. As you can tell, it's a little bit more expensive. But I'm sure it'll be worth it because we will expand quicker. Right, so two lanes on and two lanes off. So that means... Yeah, okay. 
so it means to get off the highway they'd need to curve around here like this and let's get a bendy road I love these road tools as well by the way if you couldn't already tell because you get to make all these funky shapes I bet that's not going to connect oh wait it will holy shit that's so awesome so those guys have a turning off and these let's cross over here let's page up oh wait that's not going to work like that is it um, let's go like this we go like that oh wait a minute there's an idea no need for all that bollocks just go like that same road it's not doing any harm is it so we go like that zoom he'll go up there these guys will go zoom go up there uh, ch -ch -ch. these guys will want to connect back on to the so basically just repeat the, the process but in the opposite direction so you go around like that so these guys can join that highway and then these guys can join here which makes me think that giant highway road above the top is kind of redundant so yeah, these guys will go along here and zoom that way. I think that's everything. Looks ugly as shit, but it should be practical. Um, and now what we do is somehow connect these back to society with a one-way system. So let's go like this. Oh wait, let's go to straight road mode again. Kind of like an imitation of the very beginning route we made. And then we'll put a two-way road there. That looks alright to me. And then we'll go like that. I'm probably going to get some bottleneck in here. Hmm. I suppose what I could do is how much money we got? 498. It's not much at all. So we'll leave it for now and we'll just see what happens. City limits have officially expanded. I wonder what the plans are the local government has. Hmm. Right. That looks pretty damn cool. So let's hope that the traffic is alleviated now let's fast forward it and see if they actually use it yay they are well two vehicles have used it hopefully it's actually going to make its money w worth hmm where are these guys going let's follow these trucks they better not be going back out of the city because I will punch these people all right, they're probably delivering goods to the commerce section. <clears throat> no, they're going that way because it's the shortest route in that direction. Damn it. Oh, well, we alleviated some of the traffic. Not all of it. Yeah. Yeah, this side seems to be going okay as well. This building's on fire. Just casually on fire in the middle of everything. You can hear the firefighters. There they are. And the little yellow suits and hoses and all that shit. It's awesome. Right. What is the next plan? Looking at that in industry demand, let's expand the industry. I think what I might actually do is bulldoze the lot and redo it with bigger roads. Because we're getting a lot of bottlenecking. And I don't like that. Because... As the town gets even bigger, it's going to become a bigger problem. Although, looking at it, I don't actually see any traffic jams, which is good. So I could kind of offset the whole thing and make an extension down here. And like, go like this. And then connect to this intersection, maybe? Is that... no, it's not practical. But what I want to do is make sure I don't clog up that one intersection not enough money oh god that's how much it cost four grand for that little bit of road I wasn't checking the prices didn't think it was that much 
Oh, well, that should cover the demand for industry, but we need to make sure they've got water and electricity, which is going to be tough since we have run out of money. Come on now, pay your taxes. Although, yeah, let's leave it at 5% tax rate. Well, it should kind of bring more people in as I keep questioning myself. There we are. Right, let's check. Power grid. Yep, we're all connected. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. What else? Let's. Oh, we got blue demand, so let's put some commerce down out here. That should be good enough, I think. Uh, how much would two lane roads cost? I think we already measured it across here. It costs six grand. Yeah. Oh, healthcare. Oh, wait a minute. Don't we already have a cemetery? No, we don't. Shit. People are starting to die. So it's eight grand. Let's save up. Eight grand. Okie dokes. People are dying. There's a dead person in this house. And apparently they spread diseases. I think that's how it works. Anyway, they spread illnesses. And then people get sick and more people die. Ironically enough, the housing demand is going up. Shit, we're going to have to just spend a tiny bit of moolah on... Actually, no. Let's get the cemetery first. These guys can go out without power. People can't be just stacking dead bodies up in their front room. Holy shit, no. It's brutal. Oh, no. It's got sand pit as well. It means there's children there. <gasps> oh no. Dead bodies everywhere. Who should I call if no one shows up to pick up the dead? Moving out. No, don't leave. Don't leave, you bastards. Wait, what's the status of our city, size wise? 4,800 is the next upgrade. Whoa, what the shit was that noise? Sound like an aeroplane. Holy pollution. I regret nothing. Oh my word, demand for housing is going up just as I thought. Because we got more uh, industry. Oh, poop, but we ran out of power. Um, oh no, we're in a bit of a predicament here. We're going to have to borrow some money. Um, let's take out this loan. And we'll buy the cemetery first. It's kind of really important. That's the best place to keep it. Put the cemetery down here, since it kind of covers uh, the service area that I said it would be in. And for some reason, a cemetery makes people happy. Um, right, so that is all good. Now we need to deal with the power shortage. We're in the red slightly, which means some people are getting blackouts. Yeah, we're going to have to put them over here again, expand this aside, because we're getting 8 megawatts here. Uh, let's put as many as we can afford down since we're coming to that point where uh, the expansion needs to be kept up with. And I would rather keep it green, as green as possible. As I say that, polluting like this. Holy crap, that's disgusting. That's crap. The industrial, the, yeah, the industrial chemicals. Oh, poop, everything. Ugh. Just think, it takes a couple of microbes somehow to float all the way up here and everyone's ill. Because I don't think it's got a filtration system. Just pumping the water. Right. Okay, we're still expanding, which is awesome. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to try and see what the viability is of placing more houses in this little area here. Okay, so every... Oh, poop. Yeah, we're well behind on our education for everyone. But we can't educate them too quickly since we need uh, uneducated workers for some industries. Um, and if we educate them too quickly... We'll start running into redundant um, 
what I've noticed in yeah my other cities, if I educate people too quickly, uh, they can't keep up with the demand for educated workers. So the businesses just like go around the cycle of opening and then dying, opening and dying sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I was checking the sound uh, pollution, so people will be able to get on with everything. Normal pollution is okay. Yeah, so we are kind of clear to build in this section here, so that's what I'm going to do. I think I'll just use regular streets for this, to be honest. Wait a minute, should I? Is that the best idea? Because we, I am looking to the future sort of thing, and I want towers to be in this area, like residential high-rises. So yeah, I think I'm going to override that and go with this which is super more expensive early on but I think it's worth the investment like these bendy roads I think cost a little bit more I haven't tri experimented but it would make sense if they were more expensive we also need to make sure to buy a high school and universities and shit cover the place with services and yeah right let's get up. let's not block the intersections with housing let's just keep going like this there we go that should alleviate some of the house demand poop forgot about this um let's actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect this with some I'll put housing to here and then commerce to there and then one commerce there because that way I can expand the grid without actually connecting anything uh, via pylon oh no why is it only plus 500 what service did I put down abandoned buildings damn it the dead have been there too long it's abandoned there's no more abandoned buildings, are there? Shit, the industries are on fire. I'll have to put fire departments down here. Why is my money drastically lower than it was before? That's because I took the loan out, isn't it? Poop. Did I take the loan out? I can't remember. Brain... Yeah, I did. Damn it. Brain farted. Wait, Illuminati now taking applications for new members. Holy shit. Need to join them. Address for applications is a secret aliens conspiracy. Oh my god. Right, let's uh, connect these. And then connect these. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with the sewage in a minute. Looking at that uh, coverage going down. Wow. That is amazing. You can... That's kind of insane amount of pollution, that. Look at that on a map scale. You can still, like, probably see that from space. <laughs> right. What's going on down here? Oh, no. Uh, garbage is piling up. Shoot. Let's put another garbage dump down here, then. Oh wait, we got the money. <sighs> Maybe rapidly expanding is not the best idea. Population's still going up though, which is awesome. And money's gone back up again, which is also awesome. Hashtag winning. Wow. I always find that really obnoxious when somebody says hashtag out loud. I would love to punch anyone in the throat that does that in real life. Oh my god. But you can't, because laws and stuff. <laughs> Silly laws getting in the way of throat punching. <laughs> right, um, what I could do. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. What I need to do is commit to a pissing landfill. These people are drowning in their filth. Uh, at least that'll still provide coverage to the towns, I imagine. Um,. Yeah, that should be okay. 
city's coming along nicely, or I would say it's a big town. What's it classed as? Oh shit. What's it classed as? A busy town. I thought so. There we go. That's the alert I was waiting for. Some people are running out of water. And we're going to have to get a bigger fire department. Damn. So we're going to have to save up for a while. Um, actually... No, while I can afford it, I'm going to upgrade the water. That's like, literally the most important thing right now. Oh, poop. Oh no, ran out of power. I'm going to have to borrow more money. Digging a whole debt. Um, how come I can't... Oh no, we need 20,000 people. No, we got no more loans to take out. We'll have to just save the dreaded, impatient way of spending money. Saving. No. Oh well, let the place burn to the ground then. The weaklings. How do you manage to set your house on fire so often? Well, they do trip over when they're smoking and getting fag ash on the couch. <laughs> and then it just lights up. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to split this part here, folks, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, if you have been watching the series, and I would super appreciate if you'd leave likes on the videos, or subscribe if you're new here. I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.